All right, you ready? Ready. Matt is in our kitchen today. Yes. He has decided to come bless us with his presence. So I get a text saying Lizzie wants to do oh. an instant pot recipe. Hey, who better to teach and you how to use an instant pot than a chef? It's basically an electric pressure cooker. There you go. So it's for the masses. This right here, these would take four to five hours, maybe six, depending on how low your heat is. Oh yeah. This is gonna take maybe like 30 minutes. Now that so. is what I'm, guys, that's what I'm talking about, right? Quick and easy. Hey. Yeah, okay. First, for okay. me, I need you to just go ahead and season these with salt, pepper. And then we've got pepper right here. Okay, I love salt. How much am I doing? You're doing good. Just okay. cover the whole thing. And I'm getting some oil on here. Now, what's the thing with meat? Can you really like over salt it? I mean, because I put a lot of salt on my meat. You can, and it'll end up curing and like Is a that cure. enough? That's good. So we'll just get it fully coated with that black pepper. What I do when I season, Excuse like me. instead of doing like this, you gotta go higher. Yes. You get that okay. dispersion, you know? There you go. I got some pepper on there, some salt all around. Okay. I love how you're like messy with it. Who cleans your kitchen? I do. Oh. It takes like five minutes. Clean it as you go, sign of a pro. Ah, clean as you go, sign of a pro. My teacher taught me that. I like that. All right, so now we season our meat. we're just gonna start searing these. You can get them on here. And we are, what, basically bone side up? Doesn't matter. We okay. just wanna get all around GBD. That's what we're doing right now. GBD all around. Golden brown and delicious. Right. So if you ever see that in a recipe, that's what it means. What, so oil, now, do, what oil do we put in the pan first? This is canola oil. You can use extra virgin olive oil. You can use peanut oil, okay. grape seed, What's sunflower. What's your favorite? I cook a lot I use with... a lot with rice. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Rice oil? I like rice oil. It's a good neutral. No taste, really. Like It has a high oh. smoke point. Interesting. You can go check. Oh, look, that looks great. See that little goldenness yes, going? Beautiful. Give them a flip. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, so that while that's going, delicious. though, yes. let's go ahead and prep the other stuff. Some onion, orange, lime, garlic. This is our mirepoix. Mirepoix means everything in its place. Okay. Okay, so this is our mirepoix right now. We're gonna chop some garlic up. Okay. It'll just be like a rough chop. Okay. A knife, I would suggest. Oh, you have to the hold it. The pinch right here, right? Well, why? Because it gives more control? Yeah, because you're gonna like hurt your wrist like that. Yep. There you go. Look at that chop she got there. I Look mean, at that, I everyone. Mean, I got some skills, Beautiful. you know what I mean? Now for onion. Have I showed you how to cut an onion? No, show me. I usually cut off both ends as little as possible, so I still have some onion there. Okay. And this, you can save. You can save all these scraps for your stock. Oh. I usually cut off the root, not all of it, just enough. Okay. Because it's dirty. This is why you have like to have that. a super sharp knife, though. Exactly. Okay. Then we go have these. Uh-huh, and then you peel. Yeah, you peel. Oh, all right, now you see these, though? Yeah. We're gonna start tossing them in. So you're only trying to brown it on both sides exactly. before you put it in the I'm just pot. searing them. Get some good color. Season it. Yep. Beautiful. And that last piece right there. Nice. Okay. Now onion, we can cut it however we want. This is mainly for the flavor. But I guess I could show you some cuts show while me. we're at it. Let's show you like a regular dice. Oh. I'll do like some sweeps this way. Once again, you have to have such a sharp knife. Right? And then we'll do a couple down sweeps. Okay. Oh, so fancy. And then go that. And then you go in. Oh, that's looking beautiful. And it smells really good. What cut of meat is this? Oh, yeah, know. yeah, sorry. Okay, so this right here, this is a short rib. Uh-huh. We wanted to get these thick cut ones because uh -huh. these are gonna be able like, to be shredded apart with Ooh. a fork. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, a little scrapey scrape right here, back part of the knife. Because the back part of the knife is easier to scrape against the board. We're learning today. Slices of this? Okay. Yeah, give me like two slices. Okay. okay. Cool, that's perfect. Okay. Put those in here, and then same thing with the lime. Now once again, just flavor, aromatics going in there. Rice, wine. Vinegar. This is my favorite yes. vinegar to use. Yeah. It has like a nice sweetness. It does. My spine vinegar does. Do a little have a nice bit sweetness. of that in there. So you're kind of making this little kind of like tanginess, is yeah. what I'm saying. So now okay. what we're gonna do is connect the Insta pot. Wait a minute. So that's it? That's really all the seasoning that's we it. put in here? Yeah. And then we're just gonna salt, pepper, orange, and lime and, and... Yeah. okay. We can dish it up. We can do some oregano, some mojito. I wanna taste this first. So oh, but he's this still is adding Mexican, it. Mexican, right? Okay. Look, look, take, take this okay. in your hand. Okay. And then you just sort of rub it together. Oh. Kind of grinds it up. You don't like oregano? No, I'm not a big fan. Alright, wait a minute. Like What's pizza? going on here? This is chili guajillo. One of my favorite chilies. Mmm. You like that? Yeah, I do. I right, like we'll that a lot. That yeah. What's going in? How much water do we put in? I'm doing 
We're calling it a splash, uh, but you call it a cup. Thank you. This is something you gotta eyeball because this is a smaller container than like what I use at home. So I'm doing it up to oh, the rip. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying okay, to see so where the water is. Okay, we gotta eyeball it. Okay, yeah. see what we're see seeing. See the water's in there, barely touching there. You see? But it's not that high. It's not that high. We don't want it to be drowned in water because okay. then we'll just be like boiling the meat and we don't want that. Oh, so it's really just to kind of steam it. Yeah. Matt has a lighter. I'm scared. Like, you know, ribs. This smoky, looks like a bong. What smoky, are we doing? Smokiness. Okay. Oh, this we've is get called it in there. a smoking gun. I this just... does not feel safe for home. It's safe. This is really safe. So look, we've got some apple wood oak chips in here in this uh -huh. little chamber. Apple wood smoke apple wood. chips. Yep. We also got hickory if you want. In that. the chamber. Okay. In the chamber. You put it in. Yep. Okay. All right. Do you want to do the honors? Sure. So keep this down on the, okay. the board here. And then yeah. just light her up. Okay. Then I'll just close this guy. Wait, is it gonna hit my nail? Hold on. I can light it for you if you want. Yeah. While okay. you hold it. Sure. So it's, it's literally, nice. it's just smoking it. Yeah. See oh. that smoke? Wow. And so putting it in the Instapot at this stage just yeah, like locks in that smoky flavor. It still has the seal. Flavor. It'll slowly disperse. And then we can turn that guy off. The wow. Rest of that out. And it'll slowly start to disperse, but you're gonna get that smokiness in your ribs, which is pretty cool. And so this is literally just for smoking something. Yes. I've got this guy on 35, pressure temp on high. I'm just gonna click start. Now it's on, goes to preheating, and then it'll it'll do its thing. Matt has also said, don't worry about any of the other buttons. Yeah, I, I mean, just I Just pressure wouldn't. cooker, push this time up to 35, and then start. Now for you Instapot enthusiasts, please comment down below like what these buttons do. I would like to learn. Okay, so this sits for 35 minutes and that's yes. it. I can walk away and go live my life? That's it. All right. Now we're gonna make tortillas. Oh, but wait, there's <laughs> You're not more. done. We're not done. <laughs> okay, let's do it. I'm okay. ready. Okay, so do you know what this is? Yes. What is it? It looks like a flattener router. Tortilla press. I love that. Well, I already went ahead and mixed it. You could do fresh masa oh. if you're in LA. You could find Oh, a lot. you mix this? Yeah, this is uh, masa harina. Uh -huh. This is usually you just mix it with water. Yeah. And you've got your masa over here once you do that. Oh. I have it sealed in a little baggie. Nice. I already balled it up too. I measured them out. So I already got them ready. You can't get a, like go straight on this. Mm -hmm. I found that these work great. Any sort of like resealable bag is the best sort of plastic to use. So I'll just cut it. Oh, look at these little tips and tricks. Mm -hmm. This is actually how we would do it wow. in the Mexican restaurant I worked at. Let me do one, then you can do the next. Okay. So this is also the test to see if it's too wet. Okay. If it sticks, it might be a little too wet, but. Oh, you just lay it on two sides. Okay. Uh, and okay. I sort of put my thumb here so I know where I'm at because I don't want to press too much down. Oh, so you kind of pinch yourself just a little? A little bit. That's just Why don't thing. you want to press too far down? I just, oh, I like to perfection. have a nice thicker. If you go too far down, oh, it gets too I, thin. I just, I, I like this thickness. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And we'll just sort of gently peel it away. Ooh. Just like that, that, and just give it a little smush. I want it, it as down. perfect as yours yeah. was. So there's that. Put that on top and then just give it a little smushy smush. Okay, a little smushy smush. Yep. Okay, and then just, just a tiny flatten one. Flatten her outer. Okay, flatten her outer. Yep. Pinch yourself a little bit. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> this is the test. Oh my God, I'm a pro. Perfect. Oh my God, I can do this all day. This is can awesome. Can you? Really? No. Just and slowly peel it off. Peel it off. Oh my that. God, it's a beauty. Slap her on. Who knew? And you just lit, there's nothing on the pan. Nothing on the pan. Just I just like wiped it down. Okay. I have it at, I'd say high heat. Okay. This is high at high heat. heat right now. Nice. They stay on it for how long on each side? You see these bubbles? Yes. When it starts to bubble up like that, that's- So kind of like a pancake. Kind of like a pancake, yeah. Yeah. Kind of like that. You gotta, you gotta talk in layman's terms too, you know? This I'll is just how flip we it play. now. Okay. Do a little nice. flippy flip. Okay. Use our hands. So you're not looking for it to be brown? No. So. Hey, these are looking great though. Thank you. I Look appreciate that. that. Thanks. Got them in a towel. Oh, keep now them this warm. Is how they do at the restaurant. Steam them out. If you take it straight off from here, uh -huh. it will be kind of stiff and okay. not that edible. Yeah. I like to keep them warm in here. Oh, so that makes them a little softer. You want to okay. try a tossing one? See if you can toss it over of here? Of course I'm going to toss it. I was a basketball player. Are you kidding? Oh, really? Yeah, I'm an athlete. It right. hurts. Let's see if we Watch can. me miss. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we could do a competition. Okay, now okay, okay, okay. One. Uh huh. I'll, I'll go. What the hell? <laughs> Beautiful. Good tortillas. Nice. You made tortillas. Corn tortillas. At that. Gluten free. Love that. Yeah. Winning. All right, we're gonna finish our tortillas and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna basically have our meat. Right. You hear that sound? These are ready. 
Whoa! Look at that. Oh. Beautiful. Wow, look how much liquid really comes out of that, right? I mean, we only put in yeah, you see? this much Just water. Put a touch, right? Yeah. So now, That's wild. You can save this liquid, make a gravy with it. Yes, That's we can. That's what I would suggest. I know. Same. Look at that. 30 look minutes. That. Wow. Not I mean, four hours. That was the quickest 30 minutes. But look at this meat. And it looks so tender, too. It's fall off the bone. It's fall off the bone kind of meat. Yeah. Does it smell good, though? Oh, my God, it smells so good. So, we'll okay. fork it. So, here, start, oh. start forking it up. That's it, huh? That's it. And then, you know, we could season it to taste with some salt. Uh-huh. And just mix those fat pieces right on in? Yeah, fat's flavor. Wow. So, look, now let's just, like, give it a little taste. Okay. We'll use some think? salt. Mmm, but... In terms of just like texture and consistency, straight winning. Really rich, really moist. Really rich. It's comfort mm. food. Look, we got some cilantro. I got some some onions for you. Some lime. Some tortillas. Mm -hmm. Our right. little taco party, right? Hey! So, build it how this you want. This is so good. Okay, and that's it. That's tacos. That's it. Build one. Build Show it. us how it's done. Get a couple there. Yes. Ooh. I like a lot in mine. Ooh, you do. Yeah. I like this. Oh my gosh. I like the places that do the little triangle cuts like this. Yeah, that's my house. You know, like that? Yeah, that's what I do. A little lime on there. Yes. Oh, yes. Yellow onion. onion. Some silly. What's going on? Call it a day. That's it. That's it. And just like that. Just like that. We're done. Look at that, guys. 30 minutes. I mean, come on. That's unreal. Walk away. That's We're unreal. Done. Unreal. That is unreal. Well, you don't know if it's good, though. Do you want to try it at least? I do. Try like it. This. Yes. Do it. Cheers. Mm, 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 mm. The juices are running down your mouth too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's money right there. That's money. Mm -hmm. mm. That's really good. I'm making this. You're gonna make it? 1000%. I feel like it's like a really fun food. That's what I like about it most. It's a fun food. It's not overcomplicated. Yeah. And also the tortillas, easy to make. So easy to make. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Everybody go check them out. Took me Matt. Subscribe to I her channel. It. This is really nice. But come back to my kitchen anytime. Check out Jess's channel too. She's gonna have a video with Matt too. What are y'all cooking? Go find out. <laughs> Subscribe. Yeah, who knows? All right, bye.